coffee on the tube. Let's get it. Yo, what's up? It's your boy Mafia, and we're making this video because I see a lot of people having problems with actually getting started with plutonium. I'm just gonna pretty much walk you through all of this. All of this shit is just on the form. First link down below, go ahead and click on that. It's gonna bring you to this web page right here. First thing first, you wanna click this, download plutonium.exe. Once you're at your download folder, bam plutonium right here so if it's not in your download folder you pretty much want to check and make sure your antivirus isn't flagging it blah 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 smart screen whatever windows microsoft defender smart screen so check that easy peasy you'll probably get a notification down on the side then you just click on that disable it so boom bam thank you ma'am so after you get past this make sure it's not flagged all that other shit straight over to the bo2 forms so once you're in the black house 2 plutonium forms go right here it should look like this top right register so you want to make an account name mafia is already taken obviously because that's my name pick something that's not taken put your email in whatever email you want name password boom not a bot unless you are a bot then get the fuck about it register boom bam you're gonna be able to log in it's gonna look some shit like this this is your page this will also be your uh, like let's say if you want to use a custom icon on mw3 whatever you put as your profile picture you can make that your custom icon on mw3 it's just in the barracks like down below any custom camos or anything you want like that you can get that right here bo2 modded release and resources you got the plutonium thing downloaded you got your profile ready next thing you're gonna want to do back to this install page we are gonna skip all of this shit none of this is needed you want to skip down to right here where i'm at so bam you get the client it looks just like this click this this will give you the f so bam that should be in your folder you should just have these two things click on the file it's gonna look like this it's gonna open up your q2 so it should look like this you pretty much just want to choose a folder already so i'm not gonna again you got it the folder should look something like this you got it you got your login you're pretty much good so we can exit out of all of that you can put this in your black ops 2 game folder i just have mine on my desktop next step launch your plutonium okay so once you actually got your plutonium launched you gotta log in i'm already logged in once you got your shit logged in it's gonna look something like let's say how this world at war one looks right obviously you're probably doing black ops 2 because that's the one we just or modern warfare it's the same for any one of them you just click wherever your game folder is either that's in steam or not and let's just say like for modern warfare 3 bam that's what modern warfare 3 is so you would click on that and then you would click select full if it's a t6 pluto full game then you just click on that you don't have to click any of these other folders you don't have to add anything else just click on this and click select folder i'm not going to be clicking that because i've already done it and i've already set it up for this so bam you're logged in got the game set up on the folder what's the next step next step click play play the game now if you're on windows and you have an xbox controller or not really sure about playstation but pc with xbox controllers microsoft all that same company click this button i already have my bluetooth set up so it automatically just connects on quick tutorial for that too if you don't know how to do that go to your settings bluetooth top button on the top of your controller that's the sync button you want to click the sync button it starts flashing rapidly add bluetooth devices some people may have to go to this one but mine's just regular bluetooth because i got a updated controller go to add device xbox wireless input it's gonna keep flashing boom bam on that easy change your resolution that's the first thing you want to do so go to go to options set 1080p obviously unless you can't handle 1080p go to 720 whatever your pc can pretty much handle bam these are all the settings that i run i have a gtx 1080 so got that boom bam i don't run anti-aliasing all the way all the way up because i just think it looks weird like if you go for trick shots and stuff like that and you record keep it at 60 because it just runs better but if you want to experience pc not like that more of a console type feel go ahead and put this to whatever the hell you want i'm just gonna throw 200 right now just because voice chat options so if you have a microphone or anything like that you can set up your voice chat and shit right here show chat you can turn chat on or off if you don't want chat I like chat, so I'm keeping that on. So now at this point, you don't have any classes. You don't have shit. You can't start yet. 
Okay, what's up, man? We jump into the future. I didn't really like how that part of the video was going, so I'm back with it now in the present day, re-recording this part. So this segment of the video is basically after you got your settings done, all that type of shit, and you're getting ready to start the game, you're like, okay, where do I go? You see this screen right in front of you. You're like, okay, I see options. I see online. I see campaign zombies quick. All right, so we're going to go ahead and click on online. Once you get online, you're probably going to have nothing. I just pre-made my settings and shit like that. Not too long ago, because they just dropped a new update, but majority of everything is still valid from what I was saying. 1,400 people online too, that's nice. At this point, you just, you basically just gonna be a no level. You got no class. Go ahead and go up to public match. Once you go to public match, you wanna click unlock all. I already got everything unlocked. I ain't finna do that shit again. So I'm gonna click no. But you click yes, unlock all, bam, it's gonna give you everything. Access to the barracks. You can make custom emblems now. I don't know if there's a custom emblem glitch, but some of y'all out there might know. Calling cards. You should have every calling card in the game. Any type of calling card logo setup that you used to have that you like, you can bam, get that back again. And clan tags. You got your clan tags. Um, They have stat tracking, I think. All my kills should be with Ballista because I, uh, I play those sniper lobbies all the time. Yeah, here we go. All of my kills are with the DSR. And with the ballista because that's all I use. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta, I gotta move the face cam. Hold on. I gotta move the face cam. For this one. Yeah, wrong thing, wrong thing. Don't move that. Moving my alerts box and shit. There we go. I just go snug down in the bottom corner right here. Be your boy, your boy. Okay, okay. We got the 2.25 KD with the with the, with the ballista. You know how it is. You know how it is. 1.75 with the DSR. That was only from like maybe just a few game sessions ever since they reset everything. All right, class setups. Quick roundabout. I made these classes in like five minutes when they, when I got back on here. Sniper class. You're gonna be making a sniper class if you've never played Black Ops 2 before. This is kind of for people who's kind of hazy on Black Ops. Maybe you played it a long ass time ago, coming back to it and maybe you weren't really, really into it. Like some people like me and my homies were really into this shit. Yeah, for people who just casually played the game, you're coming back. Lightweight, you're gonna need lightweight for your sniper class. Fast hands, gonna need fast hands. Dexterity, you gotta be able to climb man to do all that shit quick. Always FMJ. This one's optional. I like to run extended mag. Some people like fast mag. If you're crazy, you can use ballistic CPU reloads. Alright. And then I always run an overkill class for my sniper setup. It's just better. Swap over. Bam. Got your secondary sniper. Extended mag on that one too. Trick shot in classes is all up to you. I'm crazy. So I like sensor grenades on my class. Go down. Got concussions on here just because I want to be different. It does a different animation, you know, like when he pulls it out, he like pops it with his hands instead of the shot charge where it just flips over. And then the syntax kind of does something a little bit similar. And I also have this class. I'm not a maniac, so I ain't going for no knack. Some people like to go for titty knack. Skips the animation, boom, straight to your sniper. Titty knack. This class got a little bit of a sensor grenade going on. Got the SMR. Then got the little launcher thing, so I can go for a little insta swap from that to that. Maybe back, whatever I'm trying to do. This again, another titty knack gun. Titty knack under the barrel as soon as the gun goes across bam bam you freaks who know how to do that you know how to do that so yeah boom another class like the smr class little shotgun ksg money net class little shotgun ksg money net class same thing with this one with the remnant all basic classes i just came up with real quick you're a red gunner you obviously know what type of guns you want you got everything unlocked bam 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 camos as far as camos go you got all the camos unlocked if you want any custom camos you can get that off the forum website most of the time it's probably going to replace your cyborg camo. If you like cyborg don't mess around with some of those custom camos make sure to read the description it's going to tell you what files exactly it replaces and how to do that so you got your class you got everything set up you ready to start all right so we done with that go ahead and back out to the main menu server browser pretty straightforward you just got to read these little text it'll tell you bam like this is a 1v1 lobby if you just want to go in there with friends but they do have custom games now so if you don't want to do this you can just invite your friend to a custom game you add them directly on the on the plutonium thing i think you can add them on the forum too boom sniper ffa you can also go up here and you can click these so let's say if you want one for the best ping or the worst ping you can click on these and filter by ping and filter by players if you only want lobbies to have like a lot of people or if you want to find a dead lobby maybe you and your friends just want to hop in there filtering by players right here you can see new bliss jack i think this is just a normal tdm so anything like this 
normal. This Vintage TDM, normal. This one, normal. All of these are pretty much just normal going down to like this one and this one. Just test out all the different lobbies and stuff like that, things that you want to try. I'm going to go into this one real quick. Let's see if I can connect. I should have made a red gun class too, so I can get some red gun. Boy, I don't go over there. Man, if I'm going to try to clap in there. Alright, let's go. Should look this way, bro. Something is very important when you're trying to get off extra shots. Other than that, it's just all rotation, reaction speed, and how good your shot is. Fuck, I can't kill this kid. Fuck, <laughs> both my knives missed, but those have potential. Juking, bro. <laughs> He's juking. Shit. Hold on, let me see. How good am I at hitting headshots? Fuck. I'm, not, I'm hitting my shoulder. Fuck. Get back in there. Bro, <laughs> oh, I can't see shit. This lag is intense. What you doing up there? Fuck. just happened, bro. <laughs> I swear to God, bro. Alright, man. That's the end of the video. If you enjoyed, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Hey, yo, homegirl. Tell them what it is. We laugh, we don't bar. I can't, can't fucking with her. You ain't fucking with her. Let's get it.